Owners will tell you there's no better feeling than seeing your furry best friend for the first time. For one Metro woman, the feeling is even sweeter because of her painful past. KETV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser takes us to Epley Airfield for the meeting. Just outside the security checkpoint at Epley. I'm excited. Carrie Oswald waits patiently for someone flying in from California. One of the handlers that's on the plane is sending me pictures right now of him. Eventually, Oswald meets that someone. Come to me. A chocolate lab service dog named Kobe. Let's go. Brought to Omaha with the help of Scatterjoy Acres, a local animal rescue group. This process can take anywhere from a year to four years to happen. But for Oswald, it took just 20 days after a post on Facebook asking for help. Now it's going to give Carrie um, the understanding and the strength, um, the trust to be able to do things on her own by having Kobe by her side. Much needed understanding and strength for a woman who was abused in her childhood. As a child, I had some pretty rough things happen to me, so I have post-traumatic stress disorder, a lot of different diagnosis. Oswald is hoping Kobe can help her move forward past years of trauma. He can get help for me. Um, he can help grab my medications for me. There's so many different things that they're going to train him on to help. Kobe now has a new home and a new owner who couldn't be more grateful for the companionship. I prayed a lot, a lot, and um, something I prayed was that doors would be opened and doors flung open so quickly and so amazingly. Hi. Quinicia Fraser, KETV News Watch 7.